So, today I wanted to do an experiment, a tally even, accounting for my accounting. Today I'm going to do a horrible thing and think about how much I've spent on the game in pure stash tabs. Now this is not going to be an accurate number, uh, in fact it's probably a very um, it's probably a larger number than it would be normally because most of my purchases have been on sale or with supporter packs. But then again, the supporter packs tend to give less points than the, uh, than not. I think still it's useful information to look at raw values of, per of spending here. We're going to talk about this little guy. This is the stash tab. In Path of Exile, you start out with four stash tabs about this big. You can't name them. They just have one, two, three, four, and they're gray. This color right here without like little affinity, but you can put affinities in normal tabs. You can even make folders for the normal tabs if you cared to, which is one way of naming them. You don't get any specialty tabs, just of these they're not even uh, you can't even set them to be like publicly tradable which is uh, in my opinion kind of a missed opportunity they really should have just made that free for a regular tap for a free-to-play account but whatever not gonna press it that's not the point though the point is I wanted to see first off well I want to see both how much money I've spent on these tabs roughly and there is a way to softly figure this out. And then I wanted to see how much I'm using them to, to a comfortable level. As in how many I actually have stuff in. Like if you notice, these are all empty. I have 29 empty stash tabs. Which means that was just frivolous spending there. And that's the thing, if you buy a supporter pack in this game you get extra spending points. And I was like, I might as well buy them on my stash tabs. Um, I have Q next to anything that's a quad tab. I have empty quad tabs even. How about that? And then maybe we'll think about how much it would take to feel comfortable with this game at a general spending level as the last thing. So, with that in tow, I'm going to get a handy dandy notepad out which I have conveniently counted all of the uh, what is this yeah this will do a handy dandy notepad here and um, so let's uh, move it a little bit this way there we go. So, I went over and looked at all my folders and what I have in each folder. My dump tabs, which are these, the loot the loot in the vendor tabs. I have two quads. I have a currency tab, a map queue tab, I have a map tab, and four map tabs that I kind of wasted on because this is before they had converting maps. So, I have three extra map tabs than I should. Fragment tab, essence. I have all of the specialty tabs. Um, I have eight tabs in my gear folder that I'm roughly using, and nine spare. Four for heist that I really could cramp, cramp this down. Uh, one for crafting. Nine for bases, which I might even ex could expand with the gear folder. Eight for influences. Influences being uh, the various multicolored ones. And really, um... Like, I shouldn't be hoarding these. There's a lot of I shouldn't be hoarding this much, but because I have so many stash tabs, I do. Recipes are the uh, lore weave recipe, the grasping mail recipe, and just like the rustic sash, chain mail, iron ring recipe. In the 
I have one tab this league for spare sentinels, though realistically, again, this is I shouldn't be hoarding these and should just freaking destroy them and combinate them. We have a gem tab, a flask tab, unique tab. So again, all the specialty tabs. I have special tabs. I'm not really using one of these. In fact, I'm just going to put this in the Q tab. I have extras are like the Vial of Transcendence, which probably should give them the Map Q tab. And a meme folder that I have yet to find a good meme for. Um, but I'm going to keep it as a thing that I'm using anyways. So, a cell folder. This I actually do use has what one two three four five six seven eight. yeah it has eight in it three jewel folders one for the jewels abyss jewels and cluster jewels in one league i had three cluster jewel tabs because there was so many of these and i might do it this league too uh spare folder for unique spares that i don't want to get rid of and then all the empty tabs here's the empty map tabs that i just really should never have gotten Bad spending on my part. Alright, so. With that in tow, we have... Uh, down here, the sum of tabs that I'm using, plus the extras. So, let's do this. 150 times 4 plus 75 plus 150, plus 75, plus 40, plus 50, I'm going to type this into like a calculator, plus 40, plus 40, wait, let's see, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, let's just time, multiply that by 6, plus 140 for that damn unique tab. Uh, so four of those were upgrades, so I just took four off the premium tabs that I've collected. So plus 15 times four, plus 40 times 40. Okay. So these are points. Each of these costs store points. So we're gonna get out the handy dandy calculator I should get Streamlabs open. And um, we're going to type in a number here. Uh, 3,030, which divided by 10, because every point is $10, we have spent $303 on the stash tab. Honestly, I would thought it would be a lot more. Oh wait, we're not done. Um so that's how much how many that's how much I spent to play the game comfortably, very comfortably. Um with stash tabs. But there's a little bit more here. Um, we have 150 times 3 plus 150 times 3 plus 40 times 38. We'll put this in the calculator. <laughs> Another $242. Okay. So writing my notepad 303 and 2420 clear so we add that up 303 plus 242 545 dollars on stash tabs so for a little bit more than a full supporter pack of the year and maybe so the full supporter pack plus a full a uh, month, uh, three month supporter pack, you too 
and have a giant useless stash tab.